hello, welcome, try this problem out, and then press play and we'll solve it together. Okay, so we've got a problem here that's dealing with a circle. And it's not, I mean, you might not immediately think about that when you're looking at it. Um, but what we have here are x squared and y squared. So this tells me uh, right away, I'm thinking, okay, a, we can see this structure here. We have x plus or x minus 3, x plus 9, y plus 9. Both are being squared. So we're dealing with a situation where we have um, a circle. And this, this question, they're, they're asking not so much any properties of the circle, but algebraically, which of these are the same as the first equation they give us? So what I, what I do when I see this problem, I just kind of write it out, 4x squared minus 24x. And uh, as I'm writing it out, I notice, wow, every coefficient here is a multiple of 4. So my first step is going to be to divide everything by 4. Why not, right? If everything is a multiple of 4, divide it by 4, and the numbers are just a little bit easier to work with. So instead of 4x squared, we have x squared, and then minus 6x, and then plus 4y squared, plus, um, let's see, 4 goes into 80 20 times. This is 2 less 4s, and that's just 18. Thinking out loud there. And then 19. One more 4. 76 is one more 4 than 72. Okay, I'm feeling better about this. Um, the next thing, though, here I have an equation of a circle. It's just hard to identify. So what I'm going to do is complete the square in both of these binomials. And I just noticed a mistake. This should just be not 4y squared, but just y squared, right? 4y squared divided by 4 is just y squared. So how do I do that? Well, in order to complete the square in the first term, I'm going to do x squared minus 6x divided 6 by 2 and square it. So negative 6 divided by 2, negative 3 squared plus 9. And I want to add 9 to both sides. And then likewise here, I've got y squared plus 18y. 18 divided by 2 is 9. Square 9 and get 81. But you have to add 81 to both sides of your equation to balance it. And we're basically done. So let's just scroll down a little bit here. So now we factor. This is a, now a perfect square, and so is this. We just created them. Perfect square trinomials, by definition, are when you take b divided by 2 and square it, and you get the c value. What's so nice about factoring them is that they just equal the first term minus half of b, or the square root of c. All right, assuming a is 1, which it is right here. And then plus y plus 9, half of 18, or square root of 81, squared. If you think of it as the square root of the c term, just remember to include whether it's positive or negative b. And then over here we have 81 plus 9 is 90, plus 19 is 109. And we've, we've got something to work with, yay. But, oh no, we don't see that as any of our choices, right? There's no 1 or 9 here. But if we multiply everything back by 4, what do we get? We get choice 4, right? 4 times x minus 3 squared, there it is, times y plus 9, there it is. And 109 times 4 is 436. So it's just a problem where we're manipulating the algebra to look at equivalent forms. All right, I hope that helped.